Hi, I'm Debbie Adams, and I'm so excited to bring to you my new line called Pike and Cherry. And um, it's just kind of a mishmash of everything. I just love things that are fresh and new, and I'm really trying to uh, look for uh, a younger audience. And they're into DIY and making things simple and clean and having fun with them. So I designed a line of flowers, um, a big variety actually, made from tissue paper, cardstock, and crepe paper. Um, and uh, some of the flowers are really unique because they're all the same dye, and I'm going to point those out to you in just a moment. Um, the flower right here is kind of like sunflower, and the little coral flower up here, uh, as well as one that's over on our teepee, I'll have to take you to in a minute, is all made from the same dye, and it's just based on using a different technique of paper folding and cutting the dye out. So that's pretty exciting with that line. Obviously, you can see the variety of colors and styles you can make from each of the dies. Um, I also um, incorporated a, a bunch of cards and little gift enclosures to go with my flowers. And that's what you'll see down here. And they're all interchangeable parts and pieces. And they have little different sentiments based on the different um, die sets. And then I've also taken these to another level and featured them into cards and little journaling books. And you can see all of those right there. And a couple of these are my favorite projects, so I really want to spotlight this. This is just a little dome that I put my little crepe paper flowers inside, and I absolutely love this. I think this is really fresh and new. You're gonna see a lot of, you know, the mushroom kind of looks. It really is kind of a 60s feel um, with the little pops of color. So there's that. And then this one's my favorite, only because I personally love to paint. Um, and so I made this a di dimensional wall decor. And um, um, one of the techniques I do with my flowers is that I like to, after I've created my flowers, this is just a variety of tissue paper, different shades. And then I go back and mist them lightly with bleach. And it just takes a little bit of that color off and it makes it give it a more realistic feel. And then I just glued it onto a painted uh, board. So that's that. And then this is the exact same line I just changed it up because I wanted to show the, the different ways that you could use my dies. These are actually, I just traced out the dies that I cut out with a black pen, and then I went back in and added little details with gold. And it's the same with this little calendar book. I bought the calendar book pre-made, but I added my dies right on here, my stamp set. This is my favorite stamp set. I just love the swan, something about it, super fresh, it's really cute. And then, um, I do want to take you over to the teepee really quick. As I said, I wanted to show you another way to use my flowers. And these are the exact same flowers. It's just the way that I um, cut them out and the way I put them on the paper. And if you'll stop by the booth, I would love to show you how I created all of these uh, projects. Um, I'm going to be demoing here every day. Um, and I'll be in the booth a huge majority of the time. But I'd love to show you what I can do. And then I want to see what you can do. I'd love to see you post. You can, you know, tag me on Junkin' Debbie or you can hashtag Team Spellbinders and I would really love to see what, what you can do.